can you believe this road was all underwater last week? Just last Friday, this was all underwater. Would not even be able to get back here. It's just amazing. There's a dolphin. I hope he's not beached. Oh my goodness. I don't, I don't know what's going on. Oh my goodness. I don't know what's... Maybe he's just eating. Hopefully he's not hurt. Oh my goodness. I think he's just probably eating. I hope so. I don't know. I don't know what's going on. Maybe... Oh, there he is. Okay. He can't be trapped because it's the Gulf of Mexico. So I'm guessing he's eating right now. Oh my goodness, guys, this is amazing. I've never been so close to a dolphin. Yeah, he's eating. He's got to be eating. Oh yeah, so he's kicking the, he's kicking the um, fish. Okay, he's kicking the fish up to the surface so he can eat them. Okay. Now I understand what's going on because I was about to call, uh, what is it, WFC? Okay, oh, here he is, here he is. Good morning and welcome back and welcome if it's your first time. As you can see behind me, there is a dolphin that is um, very close to the shore and I believe he's eating. Um, so that's if you hear some noise, that's what it is. Welcome back to the channel. Today we're gonna try to go fishing and we're gonna go crabbing. It is after the hurricane. Um, I got very emotional coming out here because there was so much debris that people had to throw away in their house. And I felt so sad for these people having to start over. So um, the people that were affected, you are in my prayers. Um, it's just very devastating. So let's get out here. Let's see if we can catch some fish and some crabs. So let's get this day started. They had 12 to 15 foot of storm surge. So all of this that you see was covered in water, all of this. It's low tide right now, but that's just amazing how this hurricane that did not even touch where I'm at, the force of the wind had all this in water. And that is the Gulf of Mexico out there. But all of this was covered in water, guys. All of it. It's just amazing. And um, there's the dolphin. He is heading back. So he's eating on the sh he's eating on the shoreline, just like this. So he's flapping his fin to you know stir up the fish and then he's going to the shore to get them so um i think that's pretty cool that he's doing that um he's right in front of me see watch him look how beautiful he is see you see that so he's trying to splash you know he's trying to splash the fish closer to shore so he can eat them dolphins are so smart Obviously, we are in low tide right now, and there are some crab baskets that people forgot to grab, which are like way out there, and they're just floating right now. I don't know if there's crabs in them or not, but I mean, can you just imagine? Can you just imagine all of this, all this water behind me, you know, just covering all of this? Like, I just could not imagine being out here right now thinking of the hurricane. There's so many crab baskets out there. It's just everybody just had to pick up and leave. And um, yeah, it's, it's very um, it's very scary what a hurricane can do. Um, yeah, really scary. As you can see, it kind of tore up this um, dock.
I am at the Withalacuchi Golf Preserve and it did not take away the dock, but it really is so crazy how the erosion and the floodwaters covered everything back here. This is crazy. Look how high the water got. All right, guys, for this video, part of the video, I am going to be fishing here in Yankee Town, Florida, off of this dock. This will be the first part of the video. The second part will be me crabbing. Um, I wish I could crab right here, but the dock, you see how the dock is. So I would go crabbing, but I would be mad if I got a crab right here and I'm so far up and I can't bring him up. So we will go to another place location um, to go crabbing at. I probably will go back to my hot spot um, because it is close to here. But for now, um, I am going to try to see if we can catch some fish out here. Um, we are going to move to a lake after I'm going to give this place one hour. Um, and then we're going to move to a lake and see if we can catch some fish out there. Um, but yeah, I got some live shrimp for all you people that were hating that um, like, oh my goodness, this, she's only catching catfish because of this and that and beanie weenies. I got live shrimp today. All right, so I got my shrimp today. As you can see, they're all nice and live and well. Got a little aerator in there, so y'all should be proud of me today. So I may be able to catch something. I only got a dozen because I'm not really good at fishing. So I'll use five out here and then five when I get to my other location and start crabbing. All right, we got the shrimp on as y'all can see. And we're gonna go ahead and toss them on out. Hopefully I get something. I think I need to put the shrimp a little bit deeper. So um, I'm gonna adjust it. So give me a minute. I haven't had any bites yet. I don't know if it's just too windy or not, but like I said, I'm gonna give it an hour out here. And if not, um, we will definitely uh, relocate to the lake because I would love some crappy or some bluegill or some brim, something like that. And I know there's fresh water around here locally. So, um, and we may have to go back where the gator was in my last video because that's where it was, because that's the freshwater lake. So, um, like I said, I'll give this an hour. Um, if I don't catch anything, then we will be heading to the lake. All right, we made it at another location. The water's foamy because there's a dam up there. And uh, we're gonna just see back here. It's like, this is like a primitive um, boat ramp nobody's back here so we're just gonna sh fish right here and see if we can catch something all right now that i'm in fresh water i'm fishing with these wax worms oh my gosh they're so disgusting i had to put a glove on to put it on but yeah i'm gonna fish with this and see if i can catch anything but all right we switch docks as you can see we're back where the alligator is dun 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 so we're gonna go over here and check out this dock over here. If not, then it's time to go crabbing and saltwater fishing. All right guys, I caught my first little fish. Oh my gosh, I don't even know what he is. He looks like, I have no idea what he is, but he's so cute, but at least I caught one. All right, I am leaving. It's been two hours, didn't catch anything except for just small little um, brim or something. And uh, I used a whole container of mealworms and they were destroying me. I couldn't, I didn't snatch quick enough. They were so small or I don't know, they just tore them up. So it is time to go crabbing. So let's go crabbing and to use my shrimp. What's up guys? I am back at my other location where I did pretty good at with crabbing in my um, second to last video. Um, there's nobody out here, but the destruction is so crazy. 
there is so much trash out here um it's kind of low tide right now high tide comes in at 5 50 today um it's around three o'clock right now um, i'm gonna see how the crabs are doing i'm just gonna throw out one line right now um and if i catch something then that'll be awesome and then i'll throw out the rest of my lines but you always know that i always throw out something uh, making sure that i'll be able to catch something so i can bring it to you guys so let me go ahead and get this started and i'm going to be tossing out my um fishing uh rod out here as well so um see if i can catch something i'm going to start using my shrimp up because i have not used any of my shrimp yet so i will definitely get back with you guys in a little while all right guys got both lines out on this side so we're good to go all right guys first crab of the day Got him. Woohoo! Look at that. First crab of the day. Absolutely gorgeous. So excited. Let's get this day started. Finally. Another crab, but it's super tiny. So we're going to let him go. Very, very tiny. Toss this back out here. We're going to toss it on this side. And we're going to let this little boy. Go. Bye bye. All right, let's see if we got any thing in the trap. One, two, three. Nothing over here. Nothing. That's crazy. Oops. Tossed it upside down. We're going to just leave it right there. Let's check this one. Oh. Got some, got three small ones. Three little bitty small ones, a female and two male. We gonna let these bad boys go. All right guys, we got another crab. Pretty decent size. It's about a five. So we're gonna keep, is it a her? It looks like a her. Hold on just a second. Toss this back out. See if it's a her, and it is a her. Make sure she ain't got no eggs. No, no eggs. So she's good to go. All right. So I don't know if y'all can see it, but I'm going to, I forgot. I really don't keep female crabs, but I'm glad I'm not because she has leeches. So we're going to get rid of her and wash out this bucket. All right. She's lucky. And this bucket has leeches, which is weird. Okay, the leech did not come out. Let me see. It's like stuck to the bottom of the bucket. I don't know if you can see it, but it's that little black dot. It's a leech. And it came off of her. All right, let me get this leech out. All right, guys, it has not been the greatest at all today. I think the hurricane is really kicking everybody's butt when it comes to um, fishing and crabbing, it may, I mean, this may take a couple of weeks to recover, but y'all like my shirt? It is October, it is Breast Cancer Awareness Month. Save a rack, I got my necklace on, but um, anyways, crabbing hasn't been great today. Um, fishing has not been great today. I lost my bobber, I lost my weights, I lost my um, hook way out there because it's been so windy and it just got caught in the mangroves and I don't have no backup so I mean I do have a hook and a and I found a bobber so I may try to fish a little bit more but um as far as that goes um I haven't had no luck and I still have like seven shrimp in there so I'm gonna have to use them but um let's see if there's anything on these lines I don't think so I think so. Maybe. Maybe. Yeah. I got something. He's pretty big too. Got him. Here we go.
there we go and he's pretty big so I'm happy with it there you go very pretty he's still getting after that chicken hey guys you're gonna get a lot of these it is a male mating with the female that's he's at the bottom let me see if I can take my chicken away from him okay mm. Hold on just a second. Right. You're gonna get a lot of big males, just like that. And they have a female at the bottom, just like that. And they're mating. So I will not keep the female, but I will keep the male because he's pretty big. These are the big boys. I'll get, sorry, <laughs> I'll get a close up for you. So there he is. And then that's the female that he's mating with. Good catch. All right, we may have a big one. He's really pulling. Okay. And you gotta be patient. When they're big and heavy, because they will let go if you pull them in too fast. And it feels super heavy. Definitely crab on. big he is so awesome I knew he was gonna be heavy so crazy how heavy he is like wow so crazy all right guys so I hate touching raw chicken and when I don't want to put on my gloves I have soap so this is how I wash my hands get some water just like this in the bucket I put soap in my hands I'll wash my hands just like this and then I'll wash my hands in the bucket now my hands are all clean they're sanitized and then I just dump the water out on the side just like that and that's how I wash my hands and keep my hands clean all right let's go over here and check these nets again we're gonna pop we're gonna pull the yellow one first all right one two three <gasps> something took the whole chicken look at that gone Wow Got to replace that. I just put that chicken on. All right, let's see what's on this one. Oh, we got two of them, but they're too small. Way too small. All right, let these guys go. And toss it back out. I think we got crab on. Yep, we got crab on. And he is not letting go. Oh, there's two of them fighting for it. Let's see if we can scoop both of them, guys. They're swimming with it. I'm gonna have to probably scoop them from the back. I can just see. Oh, oh man, only got one. Daggum it. Oh man, that would have been great. 
he got it out of, he got out of there just in the nick of time but it's way too small so i will be tossing it back we got a heavy one got a heavy one i believe oh yeah <laughs> i got both of them y'all see that both of them now these are pretty good nice both keepers no crab but i caught a fish that's so funny let me know in the comments what kind of fish this is he's really pretty hold on just a second what kind of fish is this he's kind of purplish with stripes crab on he's a big boy too I gotta be very careful. Got him. Oh, man, he's heavy. Holy crap. Look at that. Wow, he's heavy and huge. Oh my goodness. He has got to be an eight or a seven. Wow, he is gorgeous. Wow, wow. Wow, I know, he is so pretty. Holy crap, wow, hold on, give me one minute. Dude, look how big he is. He has got to be at least a seven or eight. This is my hand compared to him. Wow, wow, he is huge guys. This is amazing how big this dude is. Wow. He's so calm. All right, guys. Finally got a decent crab in the basket. There we go. So y'all can see him. Decent crab. All right. We're going to go ahead and take him out. Put it back in. As y'all can see, I'm getting a little bit more comfortable holding them because I'm very scared of crabs. I don't want to ever get bit, but I'm getting very comfortable, you know, holding them. If they're calm now, if they're crazy, I ain't touching them. And I forgot my tongs today, so I had to buy these Dollar Tree tongs. Wow. These Dollar Tree ghetto tongs that can't hold crap. So, yeah, my hands are going to be my tools today, but... And here he goes. There we go. That's what I got so far. All right, guys. Hold on just a second. Oh, my goodness. Short people problems. Got another one. Woohoo! Very pretty. This feels super heavy. I don't know what is on the other side. Oh yeah, it's a big boy. Let's see. Yeah, he's, he feels super heavy. Oh, he is just fighting it. Oh, here we go. We got to scoop him from behind. One, two, three. Yes. Look at those pretty blue claws. Woo wee. He had my chicken going for a run, but I got him. Nice. All right, guys, we got a crab. <laughs> Sorry. All right, guys, we got a crab in the basket. And I literally just threw it right here in front of the, um, in front of the drain. Nice. Nice size. Another one right here pretty just big and pretty now that the Sun is going down is I'm doing pretty good doing really really good very nice man his claws are massive do you see how big Y'all see that? This is wild. He 
He is huge. He's doing pretty good. Didn't catch a crab, but I keep catching these little fish. Like I said, put in the comments what type of fish this is. There's two of them in here. Right there. The basket delivers again, and he's just chomping on that. Well, this is your last piece of chicken, boy. So pretty. Scooped up a double, guys. Look at that. One's a female and one's a male. They're both keepers. I'm not gonna keep the female, like I said. I'm just gonna keep the male. But yeah, a double header. Caught another catfish. And I'm using shrimp. Oh, good gracious. Well, there he is. Well, I didn't do too bad. Sorry. Can't wait to get in here and clean them up and I will let you guys know how many I caught. It wasn't the greatest day, like I said, but I did okay. All right, guys, I have finally made it back home. I am exhausted. It's been a very long day, but what I am just so still heartbroken from is how everybody in Inglis, Cedar Key, Yankee Town, and Crystal River are just throwing away all their stuff because of the flood waters. It breaks my heart that all these families have lost so much in their home and now they gotta start from scratch. You know, all these new people that are moving from Florida thinking this is paradise, but they didn't understand the price of paradise when you live by water. It just, I literally was tearing up driving through the neighborhoods and that's what I took the first couple of hours of my day. I drove through neighborhoods seeing the destruction and it was just absolutely heartbreaking. As you saw in the first clips, all that debris and all that trash, you know, um, sitting on the side of the road, it just, I just don't know how people do it. I, I really don't. I'm just super blessed that I didn't get any effects um, like that. Um, I don't live in a flooded area. Um, so shout out to everybody that are going through hard times because of Hurricane Helene. My heart is with you. But it has been a rough day. Overall, the water is still not the same. Um, I don't think the fish are fully back to normal. I don't think the crabbing is fully back to normal. It was pretty rough today. Um, I did take about three to four hours just to try to fish. I bought live shrimp, I bought worms, and I didn't catch anything that I was hoping to catch. So that was kind of discouraging, but I still had fun. I always make the best of it. Shout out to Fishman Mike. I did run into him whenever I decided to quit fishing and go crabbing, so I did run into him. It's always a pleasure. Um, I am still just in shock of how much surge water covered everything. It was just amazing to see how water in these little towns could just, you know, cover roads, cover neighborhoods. It was just unbelievable. I didn't do the greatest with crabbing, but I will share how many I caught. I did go back to my hot spot um, where I caught the 22 crabs at um, two weeks ago before the hurricane. Um, and I will put the number in this corner right here. I have not cleaned them as I am <laughs> recording this video, but I will put a picture up right now. Like I said, be watching out because now that I have hit a thousand subscribers and I do continue, um, I do want to continue to grow, um, I will be doing a giveaway. When the waters get back and the crabbing is getting hot again, I will be giving away um, some of these crabs. Like I said, I cannot keep none of these crabs. My freezer 
just gets out of control with crabs. So luckily, you know, um, these crabs that I caught, I will be giving them away to a friend. I am just like crab burnt out. Um, so the next time I do post a video of me catching at least 20 crabs or more or 15, I will be giving them away. So just continue to watch out. I probably will do some type of giveaway on my Instagram. So if you have not followed me on Instagram, please do so. That's where I'm gonna be going um, to give away the crabs. I do have a Facebook page, but at the moment, I am not operating Facebook. I have not been on Facebook since June of this year. When I went through my deep depression, I cut off all social media. I don't even have my personal Instagram. I don't know what's going on on Facebook. I don't know what's going on on my personal Instagram. The only Instagram I do have is connected to Beachy Bunny Adventures. That is the only Instagram I have right now. And it is nothing but YouTube related. I don't even follow my friends on there nothing it is just straight youtube related so if you have not followed me please do so i'm only at 98 um followers so i need to build that up just like my youtube and once again i appreciate every single one of you thank you so much for liking my video thank you so much for watching my videos I'm glad that I can bring joy to some people. You know, of course I get the negative comments here and there, but they're not as bad as I thought. I only go out here because I like to go out here. It brings me joy. It brought me out of my depression. Um, it's just a fun hobby. You know, I'm out in nature. I get my steps. Um, I sweat like a crazy person, but it's all worth it whenever you catch your crabs and you get to come home and clean them and you eat them and you season them the way you want. And it's just always a great reward to do that. So any new subscribers, any new um, viewers, welcome. Welcome to my channel. Um, this is all about positivity. Um, so I hope to produce um, a few more um, videos soon. Um, I'm just now getting back out. Everybody knows Hurricane Helene down here. Um, I'm just at that, you know, area where it just devastated everybody. So if you have not yet liked to subscribe to the channel, please do so. It helps me. It helps the algorithm. It helps brand new people find me. That's what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to grow so I don't want to try to get big. I'm not trying to get like Mr. Beast or anything like that, but I want to continue to grow and um, I enjoy doing these crabbing videos for you guys. Um, I know the waters are going to start getting cooler, so it's going to slow down. So I may not be doing no more crabbing once the water gets cold, um, but I will be posting other things. I just um, haven't done anything yet. Um, so other content is coming if you're interested in it. So everything will be in my playlist if I do um, upload any other video. All right, that is all for today. I hope you enjoy the video. Come back and see me and I will see you on the next adventure.